In this installment of Scam Sandwich, we take remote control of a computer belonging to a Microsoft tech support scammer and observe the scam from his perspective. At one point, I played the part of John, a McAfee refund scammer, and I battle it out with the real scammer. What am I supposed to do? Ma'am, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing, Hang ma up the phone, ma'am. Hang up the phone right now, ma'am. You, you Google need, it. Ma'am, don't listen to you what he's saying. It, he's he's running a scam. This is called a, a tech support you need to scam. He's, it he's on a Google, liar. Ma'am, our gift scam, what? scam or not? Target gift card to... scam. Google it, this ma'am. This is a scam, like I just said. And, and find it yourself. Google it, ma'am. Hold on. Later on, I delete tons of files from the scammer's PC and then begin uploading things to his computer in order to reduce the chance he has to recover his deleted files. The scammer sees the files I uploaded to his desktop, blames the other scammer, my character John, for deleting his files. Ma'am, just, 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 just do one thing. Just shut down your computer. He's trying to attack your computer once again. Oh, he's trying just to attack my computer? Directly. Yes, yes. Oh, John is no. trying to re attack your computer. I would oh, request no. you to just shut, shut down. Did he delete all your files? or something yes he deleted all the files from here and somehow the scam continues and he's gonna do the same with your computer this call lasted for over six hours with the space removed so what you're seeing here is a highly edited call in the full call i think three trips to the bank are made and i was able to gather and report two bank accounts the scammer gave me for transferring large sums of money i was also able to grab some victim info from the scammer's computer and warn some folks as always thanks so much for watching and please share this video like and comment if you liked it or if you have suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly scam calls. So, ma'am, here we are with the results of this third and the final scan. And I'm going to read out the reports as it is coming in front of me, okay? And then I'm, I'm going to explain you what does that report mean, all right? Okay. Illegal visits made on... Yeah, illegal visits made on website which is given over here, which is www.pornhub.net. What? Child pornography downloaded. Oh, wh what? Phone lines are hacked. Financial information compromised. Financial information used. Uh, I would request you to just have a look at your online banking and do let us know whether you have any uh, any suspicious kind of a transaction. So do let us know about that as well. No, this is all. This looks all like it's supposed to be. All right. So, ma'am, first of all, let me know that do you have any, any kind of a disability as well, like you, you're not able to work or walk or work or something? Oh, uh, well, my left foot is uh, basically it was shattered into a, a million pieces, basically, and they had to, they tried to reconstruct it, but they weren't able, so uh, we just amputated that thing, and uh, they, I, I now have a synthetic foot. But I'm still able to drive around and, and go to the gas station and things like that. Okay, you're you're able to uh, you're able to drive and you're able to walk properly, right? That's correct. Uh huh. All right, that's good, ma'am. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect your call to your uh, bank and so that you can have the conversation with them. Thank you for calling Bank of America. This is David. How may I help you? Hello, David. Uh, I was asked by Microsoft Support to have my account go on high monitoring and high security for the next 48 hours. I will go ahead and check your account, okay? The, uh, if everything is all right or not, as you're telling me that you're, there were some activities on your account, right? Or somebody's, your data is under threat, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, like I can see schedule charges on your account. Do you understand by the term what does schedule charge mean? Yes. Okay, so the first one that I can see, that is for $23,479. And this one is going for a charge for a child pornography. That is for Pornhub.com. Cancel it. It's all and a bunch of d dang. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I am just, I am beside myself yes. with, with Let anger me tell you, and like, rage. Mm -hmm in sadness and depression mm -hmm. and i'm about to go absolutely ham i don't know what i'm going to do i'm feeling pretty no unstable no right worry, now no. and i might do something very very rash and out of character if if we don't make headway very soon on this i'm going to to be completely frank with you i'm about to lose my s word 
Do you know what you, that? You will not lose your money. Okay? But I let me tell know you something. I might Whenever, not lose my money, but I will lose my S word if if I have to deal with this for even one moment longer. I'm about to explode. Ma'am, see, let, let me tell you one thing. Once a charge is already authorized, it can never be disputed or it can never be canceled. Okay. So, what I need to do in this case, okay. I will have to go ahead and speak with a fraud protection team, okay, about this and let them know about this case so that we can find an alternate option to go ahead and cancel this charge. Please hurry this up as soon as possible. I'm about to flip my S word. Ma'am, please be calm. Please be calm. Okay, give me some time. I am not calm. Take about I have been calm this whole time, and I've I've had it up to here, and I'm I'm about to freak out on some people. I'm about to lose my mind. Yeah, just be patient. Okay, give me a few minutes, and I will be back over the line with you. Okay, David, hurry up. Yes, I want to be off the phone with you yes. within the next two minutes. I'm off the phone in two yes, minutes. I'm, I'm here, counting I'm down. I set a timer. And I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna hang up at two minutes, and you you've already lost four seconds. I'm here with the solution for you. Okay, spit it out. Yes. So let me tell you first of all, okay, these charges need to be canceled because child pornography. The, yes, I already know. You already told me. I already know. Cancel the charges. Hurry up. You got about a minute and twenty seconds left. Ma'am. Ma'am, you need to listen what I'm telling you, okay? Charges that are for the child pornography, and this is not even legal, okay? I know that. You've already told me. I understand what's going on. It's abhorrent, and I'm over it. I didn't do it. I don't care. Call the police if you have to. What's the next part? Ma'am, see, we don't need to call the police because I'm just informing you because these charges are not Hurry legal and up. this can come. I don't care. I okay. know. Okay. You've so already told me a million you, times. I don't care. Do. You're going to need to hurry it up. And we will be giving you a account, okay, that will be for duplicating your charge, okay? That will be the account associated with, like, the fraud protection team itself. You would go ahead and make a wire transfer charge on the fraud protection team account that I will be sharing with you, okay? Share Once it right you go now. Ahead and make the charge, Share it now so yes. I can get it over with. I will go ahead and get the details for you. Uh, I have also, already sent them Bank an email. Bank of America okay? is a fraudulent organization. It's a fraud. Bank of America, Bank of they have stolen mm -hmm. trillions of dollars out of the pockets of regular working class Americans. And I'm a, I've, I've had it up to here. And you know what? Right now... I honestly just want to just cancel my Bank of America account. Can you help me with that? I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this crap. Ma'am, I can go ahead and cancel or shut down your account as you're shut requesting. It. But that shut it be, down. But, th but that will not resolve your problem. Because, well, it'll make me stop talking to you. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. You are, honestly, if I can be honest... You are just annoying. And because right you now, are the so only solution obnoxious. for you is going ahead and making what a duplicate charge. What an annoying charge. person you are. You are awful. It's terrible. <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, I apologize, ma'am. Why don't you just patch me in with Peter again, please? I'd like to talk to him instead of you. You, you, you are, uh, you know, back in my day, uh, we used to settle things out All back right, in, the, in the schoolyard. But we can't do that anymore because it's the year 2023. And then we got all these restrictions. Can't take to, to fisticuffs the way we used to. So hurry up. Ma'am, why are you getting irritated? Okay, why are you losing your patience? First, Be tell me. I have been going around in circles. And it's this is looking a mm -hmm. bit like an Abbott and Costello routine. Take me off a of speakerphone. Ma'am, you're not on speakerphone. Bull hockey. When you go ahead and make a transaction, they will give you the receipt for your wire transaction. You, we need the picture of that receipt. So do you have any way to send that receipt to us? Because what I can see in your information that you have yes, a flip phone, I've right? Yes, I've got a scanner. I have one of those flatbed scanners. It was invented by Mr. Ray Kurzweil. I'm a big fan of his. All right. He's a futurist. 
and and you will be able to scan it and send it through email to well, us. Well, I've right? got a flatbed scanner. I should be able to scan it. That's what I purchased it for. The thing yes, is about it know as how big as a email. Buick. It's about as big as a Buick, and it sits right there in my den. Okay. And you will be able to send the email to us, right? Yeah, I could, I could fax it to you as well. I could do whatever you'd like. All right, ma'am. So I will just simply I'll get just the information to you. For you. I will just simply get the information. Ma'am, the fax is not an option, okay? Uh, you will have to email that to us. Okay. We will give you the email ID. That sounds like a plan. I mean, that is an option that you, uh, needs to be followed up. I just agreed. I just agreed to it. Why are you still All talking? Right. Go you. to your guy and come back to me with the information and hurry okay, up. I will, I will get it to you. The bank name is Chase Bank. Chase The account that we are giving you, the demo okay. account that we are giving you is for the Chase Bank. Okay. And the account holder name. You will go ahead with the amount 73500 for this transaction, okay? Okay. Yes. You can write it down, the amount 73500 Anyway, uh, so, uh, all right, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, so it's all going to be over after this, right? Basically, I just go down there yes. and fire Let's off, the, sure. and then I'll call you back a little bit later. Yes, let me tell you, just make sure you collect the receipt okay, from them. Okay, I got to go. And ma'am, for I'll the see entire you later, purpose, okay? I don't need to give you any Hold more on. information. Yeah, I, I, I got to go. Ma'am, I do understand. Your call has been transferred to David with Bank of America. Yes, David. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I've done what you asked. What do you need from me now? Oh, okay, so you're back to your home? Yes, you're in I'm the bank? back to my home. Okay, that's great. So can you reconfirm me the amount that you have done it for? $73,500. Okay, and uh, did you get the receipt? The what? Did you got the receipt from them? Oh, well, I, I got the, just a receipt at the, uh, the receipt at the bank teller. Is yes, that what you mean? That receipt is with you, right? Well, I always throw on my way out the door. There's a waste basket, and I threw away not only the, just the the crummy old receipt that I was given, but also uh, some uh, an old pack of gum that had gotten really nasty in the bottom of my purse. Uh, I kind oh. of used that opportunity to throw away the rest of my trash, along with the the useless receipt that I received from Bank of America. Okay, so that receipt is fine, right? Well, I threw it away, but yeah, sure, it's intact in, in the trash can up at the Bank of America. Threw it away? What do you mean? Did you not hear what I just said? Did you not listen to anything I yes, just you... told you? Yes or no? Yes. Because I'm already at my wit's end with you. I don't know why they keep p patching me in back with you. You are very obnoxious. Very obnoxious. Okay, just give me the answer, ma'am. You have the receipt with you or not? I have now told you three times. Open your ears. Okay. I said I threw away I told the receipt. You, but but ma'am, I told now you that the receipt is necessary and, and you require the receipt. Get it together. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wired you this money. I did everything you've asked me yes. to do. So what's the next step? Because mm -hmm. I'm about to get pissed off again. You are really, really pissing me off. Ma'am, I just need the receipt from you. That is it. I told you. What do you, you want me to go back to the bank and just start crawling through the trash? Is that what you receipt. want me to do? You want me to just go crawling back around no, no, in the trash? No. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. No, no, ma'am. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. You got the money. What else do you want? You got the duplicate no, charge. I didn't got the money, ma'am. That is in demo account, as I told you. It's a demo account in which we are creating a charge so that we can cancel both of your charges. One made by the hacker and the second one made by you in the demo account will be reversed to you. I don't care about the demo account. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with you.
I think I'm just done. I'm I'm pretty so pissed off. So, ma'am, if I go ahead and check your account and check the statement, that means you have done it, right? Sure, you can check my account. Go ahead. Once it will be settled up, you will be thankful to me. Well, that that's to be debated. We'll we'll see. But go ahead and figure it out, and and I'll be the judge yes, of that. Yes, ma'am, I'm doing that. Because right now, I am looking at a charge for $73,500 that has been marked as fraudulent by your employer, Bank of America. So it yeah, seems like you should be able to pull some... You do, not need, hold up, I, you do not need my assistance anymore. This is a Bank of America issue. You go talk to your people and we'll just figure it out later. I'm sick of this crap. Ma'am, there is nothing much to do. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to worry about now, okay? It will be just, it can be just a single call from the verification team. In case if you receive the call, just tell them what, what you've done it for. That's it, okay? Just tell them it's for my son. He's opening a new trading business. No one business. has called me. A, no one is calling me. This is like just yes, some ma magical I'm, I'm call you that you're demand. saying is going to happen. I have no proof that it's going to happen. I just don't see yes, it. Yes, I'm just telling you in advance. Because if you check what? the balance in your account, it what? will be the same. This transaction has not gone, has not deducted right now from your available balance. Oh, that's okay. a bunch of bull can, hockey. Look, you, you can check your balance. Yes, you can it check says, your balance. First. It says it's been fraudulent. It's fraudulent. Fraud. Yes, so the money is still in your account right now. Without the verification, money will not be released. What's the next thing? I, yeah, you are literally. You don't have to do anything, ma'am. I'm are just informing you. And you you're telling me, ma'am, I just, needed the receipt. Ma'am, now listen to me. Now listen to me, please, please. You told I told you that I need the receipt. Everything you update. say is just seems to be an empty promise. It just I. I ma'am, you're I not know letting what to me say. speak. You're not letting me speak. What? Well, you're that's because there's speak, a bit of a delay in our voices. And I just. Okay. Yeah. So, so what anyway, um, is... I, that's that's the thing here is that uh, so far it seems like I've done your job for you. That's what it seems like to me. I've I went down to the bank that you work for. Why not? Why don't you just call them? You just figure it out. But I required, ma'am, the the demo account is is with the Chase Bank. The demo required... account. What is that? The one that you make the transaction in, that is with a Chase Bank that you've written down, right? Are you telling so me that I was just a fake? A receipt. That was that was even a real thing? It was just a fake? There was a demo account? Like demonstration? Yeah, that is account, okay. Yes, so that from that account itself, so the money will go So why the heck did I do back. it? Why did I do it? If it's just a demo, it's not doing anything. What? Uh, what? Ma'am, that is... Ma'am, that is the one so that you can return, you can get the money ret returned back into your account, okay? We just need to show up the transaction. That is why we are using that account. No, nope, so, I don't get I it. I told you that we, we need the receipt. I told you that we need the receipt. So why you threw, threw away the receipt, ma'am? Listen, you already know what happened. You're going to keep harping on it? I threw it away. What else do you want me to do? Are you, are you stuck right now? Is this a bit of a cul-de-sac? Are we at an impasse right now? Do you not know what to do next? Ma'am, I know what to do. If I got the receipt, that is the reason I was telling you receipt And you don't have important. it. You don't have the receipt. Now what? Okay, let me let didn't me have a backup plan, plan did you? Didn't ha did let not have a backup plan, plan, did you? Did you? If they have uh, not given you the receipt, okay, what you can do, I will sort it out, okay? And I will speak to the Chase Bank myself. All right. What does Chase Bank have to do with this? Ma'am, the details that I dummy account have given you. I don't care about any is, of that. I don't care about dummy that. Ma'am, the dummy account that we have given you is with the Chase Bank. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ma'am, you're wrong. You're wrong. Don't. 
Nope. Tell me that. Okay. The if, customer if you want, is if, always right. Yes, ma'am, of course. Okay. Then but, that goes against, yes. like many of your other contradictory statements, a second ago you said I was wrong. Who's the customer here? Who's the customer? You, you are the customer. That's right. So let's keep it that way. Who's right? Me or you? You are right, ma'am. There you go. But ma'am, what I'm telling you, I'm also not wrong. I'm helping you for your money, okay? I will just speak with the authorities, okay? Nothing to worry. If the branch is telling you the same thing, we will get it sorted ourselves, okay? We will get connected to them. There's nothing to worry about, okay? If they're not giving you the receipt, leave it, okay? Nothing to worry about. Is that Nick guy around? Can you put me in with him, please? What all you need to do, just uh, send a scanned copy of your ID. Might be a driver's license, okay? And that is all. Okay, just put me in with him and I'll talk to him about it. Sure, let me do that. Okay. Yeah, hello. Uh, this side, Nick from Microsoft. Oh, yes, hi. Yes. Like, uh, they told me to, like, uh, you are providing us with the I with your ID. You want to scan that? Scan your ID? What? Scan my ID? Like, what does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I would request you to just... Do you realize I'm on a, uh, one of these flip phones? Do you do you understand no. uh, what this is? You told that you were having a scanner at your home. You're going to scan it on your computer. I have a flatbed scanner. It's about the size of a Buick. Yeah. But my problem so is, is as, soon as, it's, as soon as it's scanned, what do I do with it? It's not plugged into my computer. It's like, sure, I can scan it, but then what? I have a fax machine I could fax you over my driver's license. You, can, you, can you email us? How do I get it into an email? It's a flatbed scanner. It's the size of a Buick. When you when when you, when you gonna scan your device? Uh, when you gonna scan your ID, ma'am? So it's gonna it's it's gonna ask you the option to save it. So you just need to save it on your computer, and then you are gonna send it to, through the email. How do I get it from the scanner onto my computer? It doesn't make any sense. It's two different machines. Is your is your scanner connected with the uh, computer? Right? I no, it's not. It's just it's it's sitting there all by itself, and it's connected to a uh, fax machine. Do you uh, have a fax uh, okay. number? I could fax you this thing. Okay, you can come come back to the uh, like uh, you can go on with your computer. I'm trying to uh, connect you your computer with your uh, scanner. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, okay. Just press the window key and the letter D as in David. Mm, well, I just, uh, oh, what is that? Oh, what is this? I, on your key, on I, your I, oh, crap. I've got a pop-up on my computer here. Microsoft. Oh, crap. What is that? What happened? Well, now I've got some kind of pop-up. And, and for some reason, every time I open up that, Ultra viewer things, my mouse moves and they close it. They keep on minimizing it. Is that you? Are are you the one that's on my Just computer doing all computer. that? Just restart. Just restart your computer. What? Because they keep clicking no, around. Just, just, they just keep clicking around on my computer. computer. That is what so. I'm trying to tell you. What? Somebody's trying to hack your computer. Oh yes, that is what because I'm trying that's to what you. I thought, and that's the, why the, I was trying to. Uh, just, open just, it, just Ultra it, Viewer, just, just help you out. Main switch. All right. Uh, well, I have received the email from your bank. All right. So I'm helping you out to, uh, to like connect your scanner with your uh, desktop. Okay. Do you know how to connect your desktop with your scanner? Um, with my scanner? Ma'am, do we have the permission to connect your scanner? I would request you to just turn on your scanner. Turn on my scanner, okay. Well, it's already on. Yeah. Things over there humming away. It's a, it's a Wi-Fi scanner or it's a like wired scanner. Well, it's plugged into my fax machine, so I don't know about the Wi-Fi thing. I I'm not sure. I don't know. I could not tell you. 
can you connect it with your computer like just uh, put uh, just pull out the wire from your fax machine and just put it on your uh, at the back side of your cpu uh, uh, i i'm honestly i'm i'm at a loss i don't know cuz this is really uh, gone off the deep end now now we're talking now we're doing like uh troubleshooting of the for my scanner and so i it seems like this has just really gone off the deep end what is the name of your scanner hold on i'm i'm looking at this real quick you know it just says it just says on this thing it says personal reader oh a, a xerox kurtzwell Personal reader, automatic scanner. It's Xerox. Xerox slash Kurtzweil was spelled K U R Z W E I L. And it says automatic scanner on it. Let's see here. Um, no, it doesn't look like. No, you know what? If if you could just put in, just search it on Google. I think it'll be better. Um, scanner compatibility. Okay. Scan. Let's see if I can see an image of it. Oh, there it is, right here. This is the one. Okay. Yep, she's a beaut, ain't she? It's a beauty, right? She's a beautiful uh, scanner, I got to say. Oh, okay. I've so had her since 1981. <clears throat> Can you believe that? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's looking nice. Do you think I should read one of these manuals? This looks like it might be promising. Here, it's a PDF uh, document. Okay. Can you read this to me real quick, just from the top? Ma'am, I would request you to just look over at the videos. That will be more, more easier for you. Well, I, I didn't see the one I've got in, in the video. It, it could be that mine is just too old. But this is only about what? 20 pages or 23 pages or so if you could just read some of this to me it would be wonderful mom it's okay it's what here, it's showing you it's get a little bit bigger everything. Is, hold on not for our here you go it's not for our use just start from the top and we'll just go down the list mom it's not for i have read already it's not for our use it's telling about why, why, what is scan, and what is the scanner about. Well, this is what we're looking for. This is the documentation. I would request you to just look. Uh, there might be a single wire going at the back side of uh, which is connected with your fax machine. So I would request you to just pull up that from your fax machine and put it at the back side of your. Uh, well, that's not appropriate. Computer. Sorry. Wait. You said you wanted me to do what? I would request you to just look at the back side of your scanner. There, uh, there this might is be just kidding. Wire. You know what? It, I think what might be easier uh -huh. would be to, would be to just let me fax you this thing, and we could just get it over with. What do you say? Do you have any? Do you have a picture of your ID on your email or or on your computer? I don't know. Can you just check it out for me, please? Well, how do I do that? By searching. <laughs> have you ever did that? Like, have you ever put your ID on your computer or something? Have you ever cl clicked the picture of your ID? Oh, well, I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. Just I'm out, not please. very good with the computers, okay, unless you, in case you haven't figured it out. Ma'am, I do understand, but you are very intelligent, so I would request you to go ahead and check it once, by your way. 
just you want me to just look in all of the uh, all of the files? That might take me a couple of days if I did that. That seems no, like no, a no, really no, no, difficult no, process no, to do. Type it. What? What? Okay, ma'am. Do you have a grocery store in, uh, nearby? Uh, yes, I have one I can get to. Why do you ask? I would like, like does the uh, guy in the grocery store uh, can help you out to click on the photo and send you on your email? Click on the photo? I would request you to, to like, uh, just take your, uh, after you're having your tea, okay, just straight, take your ID and just to uh, go to your grocery store and if you, and request them to like, uh, click on the photo and send it to us. Click on what photo and how do they get to my your computer ID, in order to ID click photo, on it? Your ID photo. How, how can they click on my computer if my computer's at my house and I'm at the grocery no, store? I don't Just understand. To to me. What you're going to do is you're going to take your ID, okay, and just go to the, uh, go to the uh, grocery store. If you, uh, like, uh, just look for uh, the manager or uh, whoever. Oh, is that's wonderful. I actually there. have to pick up some gift cards anyway from a cafe. Google Play gift cards. Sorry, you're going to purchase the Google Play gift card? Well, I'm already going to do it. That? I'm already going to do it for McAfee, like I already said to you. Unless, unless you just weren't listening to me. No. Were you listening no, to me? No, you, you don't. You go, don't gonna do that, ma'am. I McAfee am gonna do it. I you gonna am do it? going McAfee? to do it, ma'am. They they're gonna do the scam. They they are scamming you. McAfee doesn't ask for any any kind of a gift card and well, all. hockey, gift they card just did. For the scam They've been asking well. for gift cards all day, and it seems like that's the only way to get things done around here. No, no, ma'am, no. I would request you. You can ask the store. Uh, you can ask the person at the store. Uh, just ask the person at the score, uh, store where you're going to take you're the gift saying, cards as well. What you're saying is that you'd rather have the gift cards, right? No, no, no. We won't, We don't want gift cards, ma'am. We, we haven't asked you about that. And if the person is telling from the, is, is from McAfee, Listen, is the scammer. Nothing Who's else has worked. Scam you? Nothing else has worked for you. You know, like you've tried literally every avenue and it hasn't worked. The only one left, I think the only logical outlet left for you doing what your job is, is to just let me get these Google Play gift cards and come back and just read them off Mom, to they're you. Mom, uh, talk to David once, Mom. He, he oh, want to talk to you. Oh, God. Come back. Are you kidding Mom, me? I would request you just, 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 just talk, talk to him once because he, he's going to tell you something. It's regarding to your safety. That is the reason. Okay. Like if he's going to try to hack you or something. Fine, put him back on. Put David on. Jeez. Thanks for waiting. This is David from Bank of America. Oh, How are you? David. Jeez. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what is, what is it this time? Ma'am, you, you just take rest, okay? Don't go and get gift cards. Don't do anything right now. Until you receive they my They told call me you'd say one. that. The McAfee told me you'd say that. When you had a word with McAfee, ma'am? They have been calling me all day. I've been talking to them. If, if, if there has been a single moment when I haven't talked to you or Nick, I've been talking to McAfee. But you are on call with us. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm on call with you. But when I'm not on a call with you, I'm talking to McAfee, and they're still texting me. Every five minutes, text, text, text pops in. McAfee, don't talk to those guys. Don't talk to those guys, they tell me. Do you want to talk to McAfee real quick? Is that what you want? Ma'am, there is no use. Hold on, let me. Uh, I can conference call them in. Just give me one moment. Dear, you Hold don't on. need to Just conference give me a second. call with them. You don't need to conference gonna, call with I'm them. I'm going to patch him in. Just give me one sec. Hey, John? Yes, ma'am. Um, I've got uh, Bank of America on the line, and they had some questions for you. All righty, no problem. Uh, yeah. What? Hi, John. Yes. How are you? Yes. And can I get your name, please? David. 
David. Okay. Hi, David. And you and you're from Bank of America. Yes, I'm from Bank of America. Listen, uh, she really needs to 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 get down to the to the target real quick to get us some gift cards real quick. But she she's telling me that you're kind of giving her a hard time. So what's what's this all about? No, but for what she needs to go to the target to get the gift cards. Why do you require the gift cards? Well, we have to verify. We we have to do a duplicate charge. Have you ever heard of that before? I heard of that, but the gift cards are not going to help for it because the gift yes, cards you cannot yes they get are. the money in back. Never. No, no, that's not true. What do you mean? It's a duplicate charge, there, David. It's a duplicate charge, but how she will get the money back? She cannot get back in the dupli- uh, in the gift card. This yes, she scam. can. It's gift just card a, is a real scam. It's just it's just a dummy transaction, John, uh, David. It's 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 you know, honestly. Are you that paranoid? I mean, look, this happens all the time. She 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 needs a refund for some antivirus she didn't buy, and now she's got to give us a thousand dollars in Google Play gift cards. That's what's going to happen right no, now. No, but for what? But for what she will refund you the money? For the antivirus that she doesn't want. She got a charge on her account, and she didn't purchase it. So if we she investigated. If not want the antivirus, why she will pay, and why she will pay through gift cards? That's what she I'm saying. She will never pay through gift cards. Y- you, gift cards is a scam. She will never pay through gift cards. Now, if you can let me speak, you've just proven my point. That's what I'm saying. She didn't purchase the antivirus. That's You're right about that. And so that's why right. she has to make a dummy transaction in order to cancel the charge. What doesn't make sense why about that do, to you? Why do McAfee need a dummy transaction or a duplicate charge? This is not a bank. You, The gift card is a real scam. Hold and on, we don't hold need on. to deal with any kind Didn't, of gift cards. Because, gift cards because is Nell tells camp. me that, that you have been trying to get a, a, a dummy transaction going too. Is that is that wrong? No, this is the bank. This is the bank. He and did this say is about that. He did say he did want a duplicate charge. He did. Yes, but this well, is the bank. There you and have bank it. deal with the transactions. How do a technical term deals with the transactions? If you're not selling her anything, how you can charge her. What? How you that can deal m- with any kind of transactions in her account. You are not from the bank. No, I'm not from the bank. I'm from McAfee. Antivirus. Customer support. Yes, so why do the antivirus needs to be like uh, charging the money or how they can refund the because money? Because there, there was... There was the hold up. With the antivirus Let me company. speak. Let me speak. There were some foreign hackers on her computer and they used her IP address in order to purchase antivirus. She didn't do it. Someone else was using her IP address to do that. So just remove the hackers. We, we, w- listen, that's what we're trying to do. And frankly, we're a little bit concerned with you, sir. Like, so how, how, how does the transaction come in? Are you really, well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? How does the transaction come in? If, if there is an antivirus thing or if there are hackers, David, then you David, just need to remove calm, the hackers. How does David, a transaction come Take it in? easy. From a, take uh, it easy. Company? This is standard fare. This is standard fare for, for McAfee. This happens every single day. It happens numerous times per day. This happens all the time. No. She gets the gift cards. So you can she reads her. us you off the code. A and that's a dummy. Why do you need a gift card? It's you just can charge a, her through a credit card. It's just a dummy transaction. That's all it is. So the dummy transaction needs to go from the account itself. Why will you let her go and buy a gift card? Gift card is not her account. That is the process, David. That's the process. No, how that is the no every company charges through either a debit card or a credit card. David, or tell, the them the, tell them about the tell them about the the transaction that that they had me make earlier. Which, which transaction? The one for seventy three thousand and five hundred dollars. Right, but that is done by somebody else. Seventy three thousand five hundred dollars. Are you hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, David, David, come on, man, don't, don't, don't be like this. Like you, you try to transfer seventy three thousand dollars out of her account. Really? No, no, she's not transferring. She's just making a dummy transaction. Hold on, Neld. Yeah. What, a dummy transaction? That's what you just you said are, wasn't cool, but but you're making a dummy transaction? 
but we are not letting her do it through the gift card or anything. This is a real. Who procedure. cares what this it's through? It doesn't matter what account. it's through. This is the Bank of America account that she's dealing with. This is a real transaction. Can you deal within the bank? Then you're right. Otherwise, you're wrong. If you deal with gift cards, you're wrong. Should we call the bank up right now? Should we call Mike uh, McAfee right now? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. We can get to the bottom She's of this. She's already on the line with the bank. She called us herself. We never called her. Is that it? No, is that true? And you are the one. Well, who is they've called me several times. Again and again, they've who is called me her again and again. They've called me so many times today. I've been on the phone with them for six or seven hours today. Jeez. Well, it, David, listen. Can we just can we but come back down are, to earth? If she doesn't need the support, why are you calling her and texting her again and again? I I will tell you why. Because you want the money from her. What? That is it. Explain this. If I, she will need the support, listen, she will need listen, the support, dude. Hey. she will call you. She will call you if she needs the support. Why are you running after her? I'm just telling you right now that we didn't want $73,000. We only wanted like $5,000, 10 gift cards. Basically, You want the money. That, that is the difference. You want the money and we don't need the money. She's doing within well, the Well, if bank, you don't need the money, why are you trying account. to get all this money from her then? No, you are going ahead and purchasing the gift cards, which is a non-refundable gift card. Ma'am, target gift ma'am, cards, hang up the phone with this guy. This guy is a scammer. Ma'am, hang up the phone with him. Huh, and you are a scammer. This the conversation shows it that what? you are a scammer. <laughs> Listen, what, what am I supposed to do? Ma'am, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. Hang ma'am. up the phone, you ma'am. That hang up the phone right now, ma'am. Or not. You, you Google need- it. Ma'am, don't listen to you what he's to saying. It, he's you he's running a scam. This is called a, a tech support scam. He's he's a Google, liar. Ma'am. Our gift card what? scam or not? Target gift card to... scam. Google it. This ma'am. is a scam, like I just said. And, and find it yourself. Google it, ma'am. Hold on. Don't what? listen to me. Don't listen to him. Find it yourself. What should I Google? Just Google right Go- now. G- Google target Google, gift card scam. No. Google it. Microsoft tech support scam. Type that in. Which one is it? Yeah, yeah, the type gift anything. cards the, but, but or the tech the support? Option. Type in Microsoft yeah, so, tech support scam and, so, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking scam. about. Target, target okay. gift card scam. I'll type it in right now. Target we'll see what's scam. going on. Type Microsoft target gift card scam. Microsoft refund scam. Let's yes, see. ma'am. Refund scam. Target, target gift card scam. Oh, Microsoft refund scam. Yeah, yeah, it just just down, any of them b- because write they're, they're likely right right scam. now that there's probably like write at least there's, there's got to be thousands of results that came up. Yes, Let's ma'am, you will see yep. 1 lakh results. 1,970,000 results. That's a, a lot. Yes. Now you find target That's gift a lot card because scam. there's something now to it. Target gift card scam. There's a lot because there's something to it, ma'am. That's exactly right. Ma'am, go ahead and this type says target Microsoft gift card scam. refund scam, and it says, mm-hmm. um, "This is exa- yes, this is exactly what happened to me." Oh so no! So, ma'am, right now, go ahead and type target gift card scam. Now, type target ma'am, gift card scam. Ma'am, don't listen to what he's saying. He's a scammer. Ma'am, type it. There is nothing to listen about. You type it and search it. You type it and search it. What they are doing, you need to type in and check it. Dear, you are yelling right now. Can you please calm down? Yeah, ju- oh, just, okay, but type just it ta- and check it. Hold, just David, 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 David. Take it easy, man. You are really, really I'm freaking easy, out. Sir, I need to show her what you're doing, okay? That is it. I'm working for McAfee. I'm trying to get a duplicate charge going right now. That's no, what no, I'm doing. Leave duplicate charge. Leave he said it's card, for a, du- a duplicate. Yes. With the, with, I need to get some gift cards, and that's what he said. That's right. Yes. Now. So go ahead and check, ma'am. Just go ahead and check target gift card scam. Just write it and search. Okay. And you will find it. Let me see. Yes. Here. Target gift card. Scam. Don't do yes. it, ma'am. Don't type that in. That's that's Why? not. You don't Why want. You, you don't scared? need to see that. You don't need to see that. Why? Just remember that you just saw a Microsoft refund scam, and that's exactly what he's doing. 
Well, that but is, she needs to check everything. That is she true. Needs to check that is true. Don't search for Target gift cards. Why she don't doesn't do it. needs to search? She needs to okay. search. Okay. Well, you know what? I think for her? good measure, I'm just going to go ahead and search it. Yes. Target gift card. Target gift card scam. Scam. Target gift card. Plainfield couple scam. scammed out of Target gift cards. No, ma'am. Ma listen, people impersonate what McAfee all the time. We are the real McAfee. Okay. Ma'am, can, can you check? Ma'am, please check. Can the you people get you're seeing on those pages Target? are just, they're scammers. Like they're trying to, they're just replicating what we do in real life. So how many views Is you can true? see? How many views you can see? Is that true? How many views you can see? What? How oh. many views can you see? Views? I can, you're talking about results? Yeah, results. How many results you can see? Eight million. Target gift card scam. Five hundred seventy. Don't worry about it, ma'am. It's that that number is absolutely now type, insignificant. Now type one more thing. Now type David, one more David, thing. Shh, can I get David, my money back shh, from the Target shh, gift card? David, please. Can please I get calm my down. money back from Target David, gift you're, card? Check it, ma'am. David, you're out of control. Okay, you, you, no, you're you're asking me. To, you're asking me to do what? Don't do Can what I he says because he's a scammer. Can I get my money back from Target gift card? Type it. Can I get my it. money back from Target gift my card? My money back. This says gift cards cannot be returned. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's right. They're not going to be returned. It, it, it They're not going to be returned. Be no, 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 David. You're trying to make it seem like we're, she's going to return the gift cards. That's not it. One more thing, ma'am. You you type. Should she, I give? She's the going. Numbers what from she's gift going to, to do, David, is she's she's going to read us off the numbers, and it's going to create a dummy transaction. It's a duplicate charge. Don't explain to me, sir. Whatever you are telling, ma'am, check it on Google. Whatever he's telling you, type it on Google and check. I'm not telling you I've, anything. Okay? Uh, listen, uh. uh Ma'am, type it on Google and check before hang doing up anything, the phone with David. He is a scammer. David is a scammer. Yes, ma'am. You consider me a scammer. What? Okay? But I will save you from. What's her. he it talking is... about? He's a scammer. He's a scammer. What's your last name, David? I David, I what's, your last name right what's your last name right now? What's your last name? I'm a scammer. It's fine, but Google everything. What's your last name, David? If you're if you're a real person, what's your last name? Winters, David Winters. What? David Bentes, and I'm, I'm not here to tell you my name. Okay, ma'am, ma'am. You say you work for check, Bank of America? I give Target gift card number to anybody? Please check. What? Should I share Target gift card number to anybody? I'm gonna, Google I'm gonna it. ask, I'm gonna ask if, I'm gonna ask Bank of America if, How if, do if I you're know a real that person. You're sharing the numbers with them. You never told me, right? But I'm telling you, you just search what? it. Should I share Target gift card number with anybody? Should I? Share Target Share gift card numbers to anybody. Should I share my Target gift card? How can I use or manage get Target gift cards? Okay, let's see. Oh, and and, and actually, wait a second. It this is not about Target it... gift cards anyway, is it? Uh huh. No, ma'am. Like I said, they're Google Play gift cards. And this is about Target gift card. You, you no, it's Should it's not. This is about gift card this is to anybody. Hey, Search calm it. down. She's. I have. She's supposed to be getting I'm Google Play. Down, sir. No, you're not. You're really upset. You're really upset. Sir, right no, now. I'm not upset. I'm not upset, sir. What? What? Well, you sound really upset. And like you know, no. on the on the internet, they call that trigger. Should and, I share Target gift card number to li anybody? Listen, yeah. listen, listen, and listen, 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 listen. It's not Target gift cards. It's Google Play gift cards. She's gonna. She her nearest okay, store then, is Target. David, cards. her nearest store is Target. Ma That's why she's gonna check Google Play gift card as well. Ma what? Check Google Play gift card as well. What do I check for that? What am I supposed to check? He's asking you for. Don't Google listen Play to cards, him, right? ma'am. He is a scammer. <laughs> so just check. Should I share Google gift card number to anybody and write scam? Okay. Should well, I the share? first thing it came up was a was a, a meme. It says sharing is caring. Well, that's wonderful. 
Is that what you wanted me to see? David? Ma'am, you should just hang up on him. You really should just hang up on him right now. David? Right here, as you can see, I'm downloading and deleting some of this guy's files. In here, I found a spreadsheet and some calls that the scammer made to a victim, and I was able to actually call some people and warn them about it. Anyway, up here in one second, you're about to see me upload a bunch of WAV files to the scammer's computer, which makes it more difficult for the scammer to recover the files after I deleted them. The scammers are trying to steal your money, and we, we the person from the, yeah, and one of them is John. Oh, he's, he's pretending to be, yeah, he's pretending, he's pretending to be so kind to you so that you can have the trust on him. But we, the persons from the Microsoft and your bank were yelling at you and uh, were shouting at you. We do, we are, we really apologize for that, but we don't want you to get scammed. Well, that's, that's he what said the he was going to call we were... me back pretty soon. No, ma'am, I would request you not to pick the call because he's the only one who is trying to uh, do such kind of a, he's, he's going to call you again and again, again and again, because he needs your money. We, the persons from the Microsoft, yeah. called you again and again and just asked you for your money or you need, you need to pay some charges off or something. Did we ask you anything like that? No. No. So do you rely on us? We are, we are, like we aren't doing anything for uh, for for stealing the money. That the person from your from McAfee is fake. Dang it! He's trying to steal your money, and he's gonna call you again and again to pay off the charges. To pay off the charges, you need to complete the process process or the procedure. He better not. He better not call me again. I'm, I'm, you know what? Next time he calls, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give him a piece of my mind. Yes. I'm gonna say, that is what I'm gonna I, say, the, hello, John, and I'll, and I'll pick up the phone when he calls, and I'll say, and I'll give him a second to explain himself. And if he can't make it seem right, really quick, I'm gonna tell him he's a real jerk. No, ma'am, I would request you not to even entertain that person. No. Oh. Don't even entertain that person. Really? I can't even entertain the person? Yes, don't. All right. Now, all right, I'm going to give you the password, okay? So, like, the conversation you're going to have with the right person, with the legit person. So, what you need to do is, like, if you are connected with me, so ask me the password. And I'm going to tell you the password so so that you can uh, get a rely that we are the same persons uh, or you uh, I'm the same person you were talking to. Okay. What? Before, that doesn't before make starting any with sense any of the conversation. I no, don't no, understand no. that. Before starting with any of the conversation, you should ask, you, you should ask me the password. What is the password? Because I'm giving, uh, I'm going to give you the password. Oh. Yeah, just to, put, just for your do security. Do I put that on my that computer? You are talking to the legal person. No, you don't need to put on your computer, but you need to remember. It's it's left leg in the right hand. Left leg the in the right hand. Is the password okay? Now, Whenever that, you want to talk to me, let me let me say um, that is this a joke about my about my foot? Because I no, think, no, I think, no, well, I'm really I, sorry. No, I'm no, really no, sorry. no, I'm really sorry. I do remember that I told you that I had my foot amputated. Oh, I remember oh. that. We're going to, we're going to change, we're going to change the password. And now if you're talking about my left leg, I do not like oh, that oh, very oh, really, much. I'm really sorry. I'm really, very sorry. I apologize for that. Okay. I really forgot. That's good. All right. Because you, you just about, you just about gained my trust back, and you did I, that took you down a couple of points. I'm not going to lie. No, 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 ma'am. I'm really very sorry. I'm giving you the password. We're gonna change. We're gonna change the password, and that will be between you and me. That's it. When I call you tomorrow, so you can, you'll be asking me uh, what's the password. Let's just and make then... it. A, let's make it one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's make one, two, three, four. Just, 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 just do one thing. Just shut down your computer. He's trying to attack your computer once again. 
Oh, he's trying Just to attack my directly. computer? Yes, yes. Oh, John is no. trying to attack your computer. Are Just you do it serious? Once again. Just, yes, ma'am. Just turn off your computer directly. Oh, crap. Okay. How do I do that? Just as you did it before, ma'am. The thing you did it before. Just directly shut it down. What's going on? What happened? Ma'am. Ma'am, actually, he's trying to uh, uh, break the security from Microsoft. But don't worry. We, uh, we are there to help you out. He's trying to tap our computers as well. Oh, Easy my hacker, God. Are you kidding me? No, ma'am. I'm not kidding you. That, the reason I'm trying to save you as well and to us as well. What is what 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 did they do to your computer? Ma'am, I don't know. Uh, he's trying to use my computer. Take, uh, he, he's going to take my access as well. And he's going to take your access as well. Oh, you, you wouldn't let him do that, right? You, 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 you're yes, better, yes, you're yes, better yes. than that, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. We, we have done it from our side. So that is the reason why I'm asking you to shut down your computer directly from the main switch. But seriously, though, what were all those files all over your computer? That was really weird. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. He, he was the person who did that. Oh, he did that. Okay. John, John did yes. that. I see. We are trying to delete each and everything. Oh, did he? End, and I would oh, request no. you to just shut, shut down. Did he, delete your, trying, did he delete all your files or something? Yes, he deleted all the files from here and he's going to do the same with your computer just log just shut it down just shut down your computer as well you know it's funny i i don't no one's even connected to my computer i don't think ma'am just shut down your computer i'm requesting you because we're gonna call you tomorrow and i'm giving you pass i'm giving you a password which is one two three four as you told me okay it's the same password okay you're gonna keep it just... easy and simple and you know, my son told me that just using one, two, three, four wasn't secure, but I, I never listened to him. I, I use that for all of my passwords, banking, oh. everything. I use one, two, three, four, except for they made me change my Gmail and my bank password. They said, that's not secure enough. And I said, okay. So I made it actually a 32, uh, 32 digit long alphanumeric thing that no one will ever be able to detect. Okay. There were two hackers who was who were trying to attack your computer. Did you right. Know that? It seems like there was two hackers trying to attack my computer today. Yes. Wow. Yes. I thought it was just one, but it seems like there was two. No, ma'am. There were two. There were two. Yep. I can see that now, by God. Yes. So, what we're going to do is, uh, you have given me the password, right? So, I'll be calling you tomorrow. So, first of all, you you just need to ask me with the password, and then we're going to talk further, One, and two, I'll three, be helping four. you out. Yes. I'll be I'll be confirming the password from, uh, like, to you. You're going to ask me the password. Like, you're going to just tell me, uh, like, So, ask I'm me supposed to tell password. you, who, whoever calls no. me, I just tell them the password, right? No, no, no. Uh, okay. You, you need to ask that the password That sounds like from a them. plan. You need to ask the password Whew, from them. I'm glad we got all that sorted. I'm sorry to hear about all those, all of your files and everything. That sounds really, that sounds tough. All right, we're gonna call you tomorrow, and I'll be, I'll be giving you the. Uh, you're gonna ask me what is the password. If the password is same, it's uh, one so two three gonna, four is the gonna, password. One two yes, three four. Yes, I do remember. I, I'll be remembering the password. Okay. Just shut down your computer, and you're gonna take a rest, and you're gonna have something if you wanna. Well, have. Someone is. I do understand that someone you is clicking around long. still. Is, is that you doing Just, that? Yes, yes. No, 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 ma'am. We are disconnected. It's 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 your time to go for uh, oh, like, uh go. They're opening a text. Go home uh, for me. They're opening the the notepad right now, and they're typing. No, no, into no, it. no, ma'am. Just it might be John who is trying to attack your computer. Just. Just do one thing. Just uh, just shut it down directly, he says, or, or he's he's gonna cheat all your files, each and everything. This is John. Okay, he's still typing. He, John is typing, right? He says, "If you are still he was trying to he was trying to do to Microsoft or Bank of America." Just shut down your computer directly, ma'am. And then it says. Please hang up the call as soon. He don't want. As he don't want. 
possible. To, uh, you to know the truth. That is why he is typing oh, and he is well, again and again forcing you to do this. Actually, this is a win-win situation because you said you had to go home anyway, but he and he wants you me to hang up with you, so it's you get what you want, he gets what he wants. That's perfect. Uh, oh, but but that's perfect. But I would request you to uh, not to do uh, one thing, like not to answer. Just shut down the uh, shut down shut it down your computer. Just shut down your computer, please. Oh, okay. Just uh, so. so I'll just you type, gave me the password and I'll you want to ask back me the to password? Him. I'll, I'll just type back to him. I'll say, okay, John, I'll talk to you later. And then, oh, I should probably, I'll tell him the password as well. No, no, okay. no, don't. There's I'll talk no to you to later, all right? Password. I'll talk to you later. Don't I, need to tell I gotta him the go. password. I got to feed, uh, I need to go feed the dogs real quick, okay? Okay. 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 But don't tell I'll him the password. I'll see you later. Hello? 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 Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, this is this is John from uh, McAfee Support. How's it going? Hey, John, how are you? I'm pretty good. Listen, uh, I know that you and I are both trying to kind of get Neld's money. Maybe we could pair up and, like, try to do this together? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Oh, we can? Okay, good deal. So you are the deal. only... How did you get my number? Well, man, I mean, you know, like, we've been working on Neld's computer, and we've been both doing it at the same time, so I figure, you know, we could just pair up and do it together. Where are you from? I am from Dallas, Texas. You're from Dallas only? Yes, correct. Tell me the truth, bro. Who is that? Yeah. Who is that in the background? Tell me the truth. Where are you? Who's that guy? Who are you, first of all? Hold up, hold up, Nick. Are you just a fresher? You, you're giving off real fresher vibes here, man. Is, is this your first week on the job? Actually, let me talk to your boss, man. You're, you're new here, dude. Get out of here. Let me talk to your boss. I'm the only boss. No, you're not the boss, dude. That other guy's telling you what to say. I, I've heard it this whole time. No, nobody's telling me to say. Yes, dude. You're He's just my colleague. Okay, I'm, listen, I'm just saying, I know a fresher when I hear a fresher. You're a fresher. Okay. So do you have, do you have freshers? Yeah, of course Maybe. I do. Yeah, of course. They got to start okay. somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what, so what sort of a deal it is? Let me know that. Here's the deal, Nick. I need you to look down on your keyboard. Uh-huh. You see the Windows key down there? Yes. Press the R button while holding down the Windows key. Yeah, did that. Type in www.anydesk.com. Uh -huh. All right. And then click OK, and let's, let's just download AnyDesk to your computer. All right. What if I already have it? Okay, well then just, just read me off your nine-digit code and we'll get started. What are you going to do? Listen, who's in charge here? Who, who knows more about this, me or you? Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Uh, who is this? Who are you looking for? Well, I was just talking to to your fresher over there, Nick. Are you also a fresher? Um, yeah. Damn. I'm a fresher too. Is it a whole office full of freshers? Is that what's happening over there? Do any of you guys know what's yeah. going on? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just fire up your any desk, man. Open up any desk. As you can see here, I'm pretty sure the scammers believe that they not only lost out on dozens of thousands of dollars in victim money, but they also got insulted by a more experienced scammer. Please throw a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.